Hi, Grandma. Um, I heard you had some questions about um, immunology and the immune system and its, its defenses. So um, I guess we can start off with cell-mediated immunity, and this just refers to immune processes that um, involve the T cells and involve um, antigen-presenting cells, and these cells, um, in essence, help mediate each other. Um, what happens in lip nodes? So there's lots of different things that are going on, such as the B and T cells that are still um, within different stages of differentiation. There's the um, effector cells, which have been activated and are um, eliminating pathogens. And there's also memory cells. So the memory cells are especially useful because they've already previously fought off, um, I guess, the, the a past infection. So they're primed and, and ready um, for battle, I guess you could say. Um, and ready to fight off foreign um, substance that's introduced to the body. What is a B cell and what does it do? So it's a lymphocyte actually that's um, not yet processed within the thymus gland and it helps um, produce, um, or it's responsible for producing antibodies. What are antibodies and what kind, or how many different kinds are there and how do they work? So we know that antibodies are blood proteins that defend against foreign pathogens. There's actually five um, main classes, and that would be the immunoglobulins um, G, immunoglobulin A, immunoglobulin M, immunoglobulin D, and immunoglobulin E. So these are part of the immune response to, to an antigen. Are vaccines safe, and what does the data say? So um, really, for the most part, vaccines are safe um, with moderate, mild side effects um, that are really rare. So it's going to be things like fever or... Um, temporary discomfort or just a, a, a small reaction at the local injection site, but these are probably the most highly cited um, side effects. And then why are they putting aluminum in vaccines? So aluminum in vaccines actually serves um, a purpose. It, it actually helps re, um, increase the quantity of the antibody produced, which allows for smaller doses of the antigen um, to I guess, to be produced. And um, it also it decreases the doses that, that would be required. Um, so how is fat an inflammatory disease and, and how do we know that that is? So fat tissue, adipose tissue in itself really acts as a magnet um, for immune cells and just kind of triggers that inflammatory response. Um, there's, with fat tissue, there's an increased presence of immune cells that's noted as well as the, um, and this might be due to the initial attraction from chemokines that are released. Um, what can I do to protect my immune system and how does this protect it? So we can start off by, of course, promoting vaccines in public health. That's very important, helping dispel those myths that are surrounded around vaccines. Um, this has been a very controversial topic in the media recently. Um, they be people believe that vaccines are linked with autism. So just really making sure that we get the facts um, circulated and, and to the, I guess, through the proper channels. Um, improving access to fresh fruits and vegetables, really minimally processed foods. So that's gonna help strengthen our immune system because it's um, it doesn't have to deal with as many toxic chemicals that and compounds that um, are byproducts of metabolism after consuming foods that um, are not, uh, I guess, perishable um, and don't have a, a sh short shelf life. I guess you could say. And then, of course, promoting sanitation and hygiene. So the less foreign substances um, that we introduce to the body, the less our immune system is taxed to have to re respond and react um, to, our, to triggering our body's defenses. So I guess, Grandma, any other questions you have, we'll, we'll visit next week. Thank you.